Mm, Yeah, and please, um, the pencil if I want to underline or something. Underline. Mm, uh, you have to. So it's, it was here, but today. Come here. Come here. Supposed to be. Mm. This, this is the underline option, but I think it's it's not working. Yeah, I'm even surprised. I don't think you can use it. So we it says activate something. PowerPoint has been activated. To keep using PowerPoint without interruption, activate before. So I think because of the activation, it's not activated, so you can't use it. We can't use it. We can't use it for now. But we were using it, too, or something has happened. Formerly, when you come to, when you come to insert, you see. Everywhere, is it working now? No, I don't think he can use it. He can, are they? He can, let me tell you. Yeah, I've been using I don't that. Option. Mm. No, we've on changed. Option in here. We've changed the interface. There's the pen. There's the pen. Yeah. Okay. See, no man, the line. So, what did you go? Let me see. Is it draw? Mm. No, okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got Hey, this one. Open it. To open it. Yeah, so press on the front of it. No, no, use, use, use the pen. Ah, uh, use the pen. Hey. Click the front of the front of the front so try going to another side. So, if I want to go back, hey, okay, so but I can't. So click. Uh, what do I? Bo how do I go back? Because you can't see anything. You can't see anything. And there's, I'm coming there, sir.
Yes, yes. Welcome to Senior High School Hour on Joy Learning. My name is Adade Gottlieb. You can call me GK. I'm taking you in Financial Accounting Form 2. We are continuing our lesson, Correction of Errors. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to pass the Jenna. Prepare suspense accounts, state the effect of error on reported profits, Prepare a statement of corrected what net profit. On our previous lesson, we took a question. We analyzed how to prepare the Jenna, the suspense. So we'll take another question today. We'll do that, and then from there we'll proceed. So we have a question. The trial balance of Nancy Limited for the year ended 31st December 2020 failed to agree, and the difference of 138500 was credited to a suspense account. The following were detected. The purchase journal had been undercast by 50,000 cities. Now, purchases had been understated by 50,000 cities. How do we correct this error? We learned in our previous lesson that when it is understated means it is not up to. So it, that means it's lower than expected. So what we said was that we were guided by rules in our previous fourth lesson. So we said that when it is understated and is having debit, debit, is having credit, credit. So we still have to observe our rules as we correct these errors. So purchases Jenna had been what? Understated. Now we know that purchases is having a debit balance. So if it is understated, then we need to debit. Then the next account will be what? Suspense account. So what we're going to do now, very simple, is that we we'll debit purchases and credit suspense accounts. Simple because purchases is having a debit balance. So again, you debit your purchases, and your credit suspense account. Now, what will be the narration here? Being purchases understated, now corrected, or recorded, or rectified, any of this. I think it's very simple. Now, we take the next one. An amount of 25000 owing to a supplier had been omitted from the list of sundry creditors. So, an amount owing to a supplier, omitted in the creditor's account. So what are we talking about? Knowing the side of an account is very, very necessary. Very, very. Now we know that suppliers are having, or creditors are having a credit balance. That is a liability. We said that all liabilities are having a credit balance. So if it is having a credit balance, it has been omitted. What do we do? Simple. So we just credit the supplier's account and will debit suspense account. So again, the error will be, what you should also know is that always debit before credit. So debit suspense account and credit the supplier's account. I think it's very simple. Once we have gotten our rules, so correction of errors will be a very easy task for us. 
what will be the narration here? Being an amount owing to suppliers omitted in the creditor's account, now corrected. I hope the lesson is cool, and I hope you are following. The sales day book had been undercast by 65,000 cities. I think today's questions are very okay, and I hope you are following. Okay, sales day book had been what? Undercast. And we know the opposite of purchases is what? Sales. So if purchases is having a debit balance, then automatic sales should have what? A credit balance. So we know that sales is also having a credit balance. Now, it has been understated. Our rule, if it is understated, is having debit, debit, credit, credit. So once sales is having a credit balance, what do we do? You debit suspense accounts and you credit the sales account. You debit suspense and credit sales account. So being sales account understated, now corrected. Sales account understated, now corrected. We take the next one. Rent and rate account was undercast by 9,500. Think of this error. What do you think we should do? Rent and rate understated. I hope you can imagine something, how this can be corrected. Our sales, our rent and rate account being what? Understated. Okay, so that is why I always advise that you should know the side of your account. Rent and rate, for this matter, they are expenses. So if it is an expense, then it should have a debit balance. All expenses are having what? A debit balance. So what do we do? It is what understated. So we say if it is having a debit, you debit. So what are we going to do now? You debit rent and rate account and you credit what? Suspense account. You debit rent and rate and you credit suspense account. So being rent and rate understated, now rectified or recorded. So that would be our narration. So I always advise that you get your narration from the question given to you. Don't use a type of error to uh, what, write your narration, but you use a sentence given to you to write your brief description about what you have done or what you have recorded. Now let's move on. A payment of 16450 for repairs of motor vehicle had been debited to motor vehicle account. So what we are the question now is that the amount was meant for repairs but was entered in motor vehicle account. When we were looking at the type of errors, we had a look at this. I hope you can even imagine the type of error committed here. So if it is objective now, you should be able to uh, take the correct answer out. Because we learned the errors, we define them, we explain them. So as of now, we should know the type of error being committed over here. Again, the amount was meant for repairs, but was entered in motor vehicle what, account. So as usual, we know one is an expense, one is an uncurrent what, asset. So what, and these two accounts are all having a debit balance. So we said that this type of error will not go with what suspense account because it will not affect the agreement of the trial balance. So what are we going to do then? One that are having a debit balance, but the repairs was omitted in place of the repairs it was debited to motor vehicle account. So very simple. We have to take this value from motor vehicle account. So which means that motor vehicle account has been overstated. Because the value was not supposed to be entered in that account. So what do we do? Once it's having a debit balance, we'll credit. 
to take away that value from that account. So now you're going to debit the repairs, repairs of motor vehicle accounts, and then you credit the motor vehicle accounts. So we'll now do the correcting by debiting the repairs, and then we'll credit the motor vehicle accounts. Very simple. Knowing the side of the account will help you to correct these errors. Okay, so what will be the narration then? I always advise that you use the sentence or you derive your a brief narration from the question given to you. So we can say that being repairs of motor vehicle wrongly entered in motor vehicle account now recorded. And as usual, you know that once you have written the narration, you need to what? Underline. Very, very necessary. You know, we go by rules. So these rules must be observed. I hope this lesson is cool and you are enjoying it. Okay, let's move on. Discount amounting to 18,000 cities received from a supplier had been duly entered in the account, but not in the nominal ledger. It was duly what? Entered, but not in the nominal ledger. Again, we had a look at when you go to Form 1, you learned about nominal accounts. So when we talk about, just to remind you here again, when we talk of nominal, we are talking of expenses and revenue. Expenses and what? Revenue. That is nominal. So once you, you, you have heard of nominal, the, what should come to mind should be what? Expenses and revenue. So all that they are telling us is that the amount has not been entered in discount receive what? Account. Because discount receive is an income. And we also lent the side of income. I hope you can guess that. Side of what? An income. Incomes are having a credit what? Balance. All incomes are having what? A credit balance. So what do we do? We we'll debit suspense and credit discount receive account. We we'll debit suspense and credit discount received account. So now what will be our narration? So being discount received, omitted, now corrected. Being discount received, omitted, now corrected. Now we are moving on with the question. Cash received from a customer amounting to 100,000 cities was entered correctly in the cash book but had been credited to the personal account as 10,000 cities. What is the double entry here? If you are receiving an amount from a customer, what is the double entry? So we know once you are receiving, I told you, if you are doing double entry and you have, you are dealing with cash or check, that is bank, you don't have any issue. See whether our cash in the business is it increasing or decreasing. Then automatically the other entry applies to the, the next one. So we are receiving. So once we are receiving, the cash should be debited. In a, a other case, our cash in the business will do what? Will increase. And we say that when our assets are increasing, what do we do? We debit. So in this case, you debit your cash and credit the customer because we are receiving from the customer. Okay, so let's analyze this well. I always advise that you know how to analyze your questions. Accounting is it's not difficult, but if you are able to analyze, then you can correct your errors or pass your entries well. We were supposed to enter how much? 100,000 cities. 